The purpose of this video is to look at this circuit, the potential divider, and I've made a very straightforward circuit, and I've not tried to set it up to have exactly the right voltage or anything, it's just as it comes. I've got two resistor boxes, I've got a battery pack, and at the moment my voltmeter is measuring the voltage of the battery pack. So my input voltage from the battery pack is around about 5.8 volts or so. And down at the bottom here, this is my 0 volts connection, this one here. And I'm going to take my voltmeter and attach it to R2. So it goes like this. And the idea of this video is to get an intuitive understanding without any of the maths or anything about what happens. So first of all, my first experiment is R1 equals R2 equals 100 ohms. And the output voltage, so this is the out, the output voltage that I get is around about 2.9 volts or so, which is half of the input voltage. So let's see what happens if we make the resistors the same value again, but bigger. So make them both 220 ohms. It's still 2.9 volts. And if I make them both 1 kilo ohm, it's still around about 2.9 volts. The difference is because of the tolerance of the resistors. So the first lesson is, if your two resistors are the same value, then V out equals V in over 2. Half the voltage. That's the first lesson. Now the second lesson is, what happens if we make R2 bigger? That's this resistor here. This is R2. In fact, we could actually write on it number 2 to show that it's R2. If we make R2 bigger, let's see what happens to the voltage. So we do this by experiment. The voltage is bigger. The voltage is bigger. The voltage is bigger. The voltage is bigger, approaching the supply voltage. And if we make R2 smaller, then the voltage gets smaller. So if R2 goes up, V out goes up. And our third experiment Let's put this back to 1 kilo ohm. What happens if we make R1 bigger? R1 goes up. Let's see what happens. We'll make R1 bigger, and the voltage has gone down. Make it bigger again. It's gone down again. Make it bigger again. It's gone down again. So if we make R1 bigger, V out goes down. That's the sort of intuitive understanding you need to have of potential dividers. It explains why on the website, but we're just looking today to see what's actually happening. So that's the first part of the video. What we're going to do now is replace one of these two resistors with a variable resistor, an LDR in fact. Now let's see what happens when we change R1 and replace it with an LDR. Like that. So our first experiment is going to be number four. LDR as R1. Okay, so what happens when it gets dark? Okay, what happens when it gets dark? That's the question. So what we expect to happen is the LDR will get covered up, it will get dark, the resistance of the LDR will go up, so R1 has gone up, and when R1 went up, the voltage went down, so we expect the out to go down. And there it does. We have a light sensor. When we get light, the resistance of LDR gets less, R1 is smaller, the voltage goes up. So dark, V out goes down. In the dark, the voltage goes down. So the obvious question is, what happens if we swap places? Well, let's find out. So we move the LDR down to R2. Very easy on the diagram, much harder actually in practice to do that. It's quite important to know how these circuits work because you meet them in all sorts of places. So you meet them, for instance, in active filters, you meet them in um, your input circuits with thermistors or whatever else you want to use, you meet them with your push button for your logic circuits. They're all potential dividers, so it is quite important to work them out. Right, so here we have R1 and the LDR. 
rewired like this, the LDR is now in the place of R2. So last experiment, number five, LDR as R2. So here's R1, here's R2. Let's see what's going to happen. So in the dark, what do we think is going to happen? Well, in our previous experiment, when the resistance of R2 went up, the output voltage went up. So in the dark, the resistance of the LDR will increase. When the resistance of the LDR increases, we expect the output voltage to increase. And there we go, it does. In the light, the voltage goes down. In the dark, the voltage goes up. And you need to remember this. You need to remember intuitively what happens to the output voltage when you change either R2 or when you change R1.